finally Android M is here during the Google I.O. 2015 was released and succeeds Android 5.0 Lollipop. M looks to be focused on improving the stability and usability of the software as a core user experience. So let's see what it includes. So here is the startup screen after installing the Android M developer preview. So some warning and it starts with the original language which can be changed to the recommended one. So here we go. It welcomes in the original language. Here I select English. These are the Wi-Fi networks available. Let me connect to my Wi-Fi network and it's connecting and further let me sign into my Google account and see further this is the now launcher which has been updated in the Android M it's quite fast and when we go here we have vertical scroll instead of the horizontal scroll which was in the previous build so we have to get to used to it we have the search option where we can search the applications in the top bar shows the recent applications so this was the now launcher and when we see on the lock screen we have modified the fonts of the clock and also the fonts of the date and the day has been modified. We have an voice assist key on the left hand bottom corner instead of the call button. So these were the slight modifications made on the launcher and the lock screen. Apps permissions is one of the big parts of the Android M which is redesigned. So that users will be able to approve or deny security permissions such as camera or the location access on a case by case basis. This means that a user can grant applications some permissions but not the other and they can manage permission access after the fact. It also makes it more clear to the user what an application is asking to do. There are only 8 categories of permission available to the applications now and the apps will ask for them as they are needed. That's different from how Android currently works. User has to approve all the permissions at once when the app is installed, which is not so in Android M. Google is also adding the web browsing experience with its Google Chrome app, a new feature called Chrome Custom Tabs, where the users don't have to switch to Google Chrome for the web page to be opened from an application but it can open as a floating tab. Android Pay is an another feature of Android M. So let's off on Lollipop. One of the big introduction of Android M is Android Pay. It will be pre-installed on the Android 4.4 plus devices and will be supported on devices with the NFC running Android KitKat and above without opening any application. Android Pay is secure because a virtual card number is created when you register a payment card rather than actual number card. Using an API, Android Pay will be available through Android's own app or integrated into other bank apps. It will be available in the US compatible with the existing contactless payment locations such as those are currently accept Apple Pay both at stores and in apps using the fingerprint. It also means that the app developers will be able to use the user's fingerprint for verification. Android Pay launch it will be with the Android M later in the year. Up till now, whenever you select any web in links, then it would ask in which applications do we need to open it. But this has been sold in Android M by app links and it will open it into the respective applications without asking us anymore. Here is an example of opening of WhatsApp directly without being asked. Regarding power and charging, Android M makes use of a new function known as Toast to improve device standby time. 
by using the motion detectors android will recognize when device haven't been interacted with for a while such as when a person is asleep or a device has been left on a table to reduce background processes it has been experimented by google on the nexus 9 devices one running lollipop and one with android m preview and they have concluded that android m will provide two times longer standby time compared to android lollipop now android m also supports usb type c which provides a faster charging and lets user charge other devices with their phone and with this there will be a new type of data cable which can be inserted on either way so that users no more have to see in which directions they are inserting the cable android m manager introduced by google in this version with the aim of providing users with the more accurate and comprehensible information regarding the maximum and the average ram usage of the apps this can be found under settings applications option advanced and memory after reading an individual apps ram consumption as well as how often it's running in the background users can determine whether it should be kept or it should be removed Google now has become now more smarter by rolling out a pilot program called Now on Tap with 100 popular applications. Now on Tap provides Google Now like content right where you are without li- having to leave the app you are in. So if you are in Spotify and say okay Google what is his real name? Now on Tap will know you are talking about the musician you are listening to and provide such details right there at the end. The same goes for content in the email, the same for the browsing in the Chrome browser. So check it out for sure. Google Photos, previously a part of Google Plus, is now an standalone photo and video storage sharing service that provides unlimited free storage. Yes, unlimited free storage for up to 16 MP photos and 100 P video. That is seriously impressive. The Google Photos service stores high quality compressed version of your photos and movies, but doesn't store anything on your device, so you can search thousands of photos at high speed without. bogging your device down with gigabytes of photos now the silent mode that was on android lollipop has been redefined and has been more useful from before with lot more options and minor tweaks in it and there are little changes over the text selection text selection has been now character to character or word to word or line to line over and above this the clipboard manager has been changed which is now dynamically arranged as per the the further changes to the not very popular alterations to the volume controls that were made in android lollipop google has simplified volume controls once again with the android m update with more granular control over the various audio settings on the device from the ringtones and alarms to the music playback and the voice calls so now we go to the developer options and here we go to the themes in themes we have light the dark and the automatic the automatic stands for it changes from light to dark as per the day time now we go in the about phone section where it states the current rom being android m and as every rom has an symbol android m is an golden yellow with m inside and as it is an developer preview it has an option to send a feedback <laughs> 